First up, we got Cara Delevingne. Model Cara Delevingne is one of many celebrities who's been dragged into the case of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. It was claimed that Heard had a three-way affair with Cara Delevingne and Elon Musk. Allegedly, the three of them hooked up at Depp's downtown LA penthouse in late 2016 after Heard split from Depp. After the rumor started to go viral, Musk shut down the claims. Page Six reported that he never slept with Cara and they were only ever friends, with Musk saying, quote, Cara and I are friends, but we've never been intimate. She would confirm this. Musk also said he did not start seeing Amber Heard until a month after her divorce filing. And I'm sure that Cara does not like her private life getting pulled into this mess, especially since she's very quiet about her personal life to the public. Next up, James Franco. Even though James Franco is an A-list actor, for the most part he keeps a pretty low profile. Other than when he's promoting movies, he is rarely talked about by the public. But he's another celebrity who was pulled into the Amber Heard vs Johnny Depp trial, and I'm sure he hates it. Especially considering he's been accused of inappropriate conduct with women in the past, and he's not someone that most people believe. James Franco and Amber Heard have worked together on multiple movies in the past, and when they shot 2015's The Adderall Diaries, Depp was convinced she was having an affair, which turned out to be true, as video footage showed the two getting cozy in an elevator. Heard claims that when she saw him that night, he asked about her bruises. In an audio recording shared in court, Depp could be heard telling Amber, quote, I become irrational when you're doing movies, I become jealous and effing weird, and we fight a lot more. I'm sure Franco also doesn't like that he's on the side of Amber Heard, who is quickly losing public support. There's even a chance that his link to Amber Heard could hurt his acting prospects in the future, as Johnny Depp fans are known to boycott anyone and anything that involves Amber. Next up, Kate James. When Kate James first testified in the divorce against Amber and Johnny, she testified in support of Amber. However, James decided to change her story after she realized way too many of Amber's lies were not adding up. Heard's former personal assistant, Kate James, testified against her in court, claiming that Amber was full of anger and horrible to work for. James testified that she never saw Depp getting physical with Heard, but she did see Heard enter blind fits of rage on many occasions. Allegedly, Heard once spit in her assistant's face when she asked her for a raise. Along with this, Heard descended into screaming fits a blind rage, sent incoherent text messages at 4am, and was often drunk and high on illegal substances. Then when asked about Johnny Depp, James only had positive things to say. James said that when she interacted with Johnny Depp, he was very calm and almost shy. Quote, like a total southern gentleman, James said. James has been a key figure in the court of public opinion. Since she changed her opinion to be on his side, many believe Johnny is telling the truth. Next up, Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey, former fiance of Johnny Depp's, is also being put into the conversation surrounding this trial. Grey has stated that the trial breaks her heart and she wishes that it was resolved. Grey and Depp were engaged in 1989, adding that she thinks it's sad and wishes everybody well. Shockingly, Grey did admit that in their past relationship, Depp was possessive and would get into fights at bars regularly. The pair were in a long distance relationship at one point during their relationship, and at one point he started to get more in trouble with the law. Saying in her book, quote, Johnny was commuting every week back and forth from Vancouver, but he had begun more and more regularly to be getting in trouble. Fights in bars, skirmishes with cops. According to The Independent, she continued, quote, He'd start missing his flights home to LA, having overslept, but when he did come home, he'd be crazy jealous and paranoid about what I'd been up to while he was gone. Which is similar to what Heard has said about him. Heard has testified that Depp was incredibly jealous of Heard's friend and co-star James Franco. Although some of what Grey has said could be considered similar to what Amber Heard has said, Grey still refuses to take Amber's side and will not publicly defend her. Elon Musk Elon Musk has been in the news for a number of reasons recently, from his Twitter takeover to his involvement in the Amber Heard trial. Heard was in a brief relationship with the billionaire in 2017, following her split from Depp. And Depp has long accused Heard of cheating on him with Musk, even though Musk vehemently denies this. During the trial, it was exposed that Musk gave a majority of Heard's pledge donation to the ACLU, clearly helping her to cover up her lies. During the trial, we learned that the ACLU has so far received over $1.3 million in total. Elon gave half a million dollars to the ACLU, Johnny Depp himself donated $100,000, and another $350,000 was given from a fund at investment firm Fidelity. In court, it was alleged that the Fidelity funds also came from Elon. Finally, only $350,000 came from Heard herself, even though she pledged to give $3.5 million to the organization. Elon paid the money because he believed Heard was desperate and the victim of harm from Depp. But if the court finds Amber Heard guilty of lying in this case, he will have no choice but to stop defending her. He might even have to ask for his money back. And finally, Howard Stern. Howard Stern has never been shy about his opinions on celebrity matters, and it's been no different in regards to the Amber vs. Johnny trial. Stern trashed on both sides of the trial, but he said that he believes that Johnny Depp is a massive narcissist. During his legendary radio show, Stern said that Johnny Depp was, quote, overreacting while on the stand. He continued that he believes Depp is a narcissist who wanted the trial televised because narcissists, quote, think they can talk their way out of everything. 
adding quote, on the narcissism scale, I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist. And what I mean by that is that he'll figure I put this on TV, and because I'm so persuasive and I'm so smart and I'm such a wonderful guy, Stern said that the trial is not going well for anybody, saying that the pair sound like two battling children. Starting off first, we have the TV host and former friend of Herd's, Amanda de Cadnet. Back in 2020, Amanda publicly spoke about withdrawing her support for Herd after some explosive evidence was revealed in the 2020 UK libel trial. The TV host was initially supposed to be called by the Sun, but in a legal declaration that was filed in June of that year in a separate case, it was revealed that she had quite a change of heart on where her opinions and thoughts stood on the entire ordeal after hearing some of the audio tapes that were released. More specifically, she is talking about the audio tapes where Heard admits to striking Johnny in the jaw, as well as the tapes where she can be heard verbally abusing Depp. Amanda is quoted as saying she was appalled and shocked to hear how Amber was speaking to Johnny. It was later said that Amanda was feeling as though she had been misled in her friendship with Amber, especially when she was there to support her while these alleged disputes between her and Johnny were still ongoing. In the 2020 UK trial, there was even a text exchange between Amanda and Amber that was read out to the court. The exchange came after the alleged interaction in which Amber claims that Johnny threw a phone at her face in May of 2016. The text from Amanda to Amber read, quote, sleeping sounds like the best thing. Put some arnica on your face, make sure you have photos of the injuries please, and text them to me or Rocky. Despite this clear support scene in 2016, it appears as of 2020 and the trial, her feelings have definitely changed. The next celebrity we are moving on to is Robert Downey Jr. Of course, as many of us know, Johnny is facing a ban from a lot of studios, especially since he lost the 2020 trial against The Sun. I mean, it definitely is common knowledge considering that is part of the reason this trial is ongoing at all. Johnny is said to have shot Fantastic Beasts 3 for just one day before he was ousted from the project. This is similar to his role of Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The next movie, which is the sixth installment, is said to be proceeding on without their leading character. Of course, this is detrimental to Johnny and his long career, but it is said there is one celebrity who is working hard to get Johnny another starring role sooner rather than later. It has been reported that Robert Downey Jr. himself has been working to get Johnny Depp brought on the team for the the upcoming Sherlock Holmes 3 film. Despite this sort of friendly help at this point in time, it isn't exactly likely that this will happen, even with the support of Downey. Warner Bros controls the rights to the Sherlock Holmes films, and they are also in control of the Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beasts. Like we mentioned before, they already dropped Depp from that movie, so I can't imagine them signing him on to any others in the near future. This could all change depending on the outcome of the trial, but there's also a chance, even if the trial does end in Johnny's favor, that the studio still might not want to bring him onto the project. At this point in time, only time will tell. The next celebrity is one who was actually brought up during the trial. Initially, this celebrity wasn't scheduled to testify, but we may just end up getting testimonies from her now that the defense has opened up the door to do so. While Amber sat on the stand during trial, she told the jurors that the only time she ever hit Johnny was during an incident in which she claims the pair was fighting over his alleged infidelity. During this fight, Heard claims that she thought Johnny was about to push her sister Whitney down the stairs, which is the reason she claims she hit him at all. She said, quote, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. What Amber was talking about there or referring to is the rumor that Johnny had once shoved Kate Moss, who he dated in the 1990s, down a flight of stairs. This mention of Kate might end up blowing up in Amber's face as this now might mean that Depp's team could call Kate to testify and her test testimony could be, and likely would be, that the incident never happened. A source close to Depp has said that he and the supermodel have remained close friends, which makes people believe she would likely testify on Johnny's behalf. We will have to wait and see if she does end up being called in to testify or not, and if so, we'll wait and see what she has to say. Another former flame of Johnny's who has spoken out in support of the actor is Winona Ryder. The pair dated from 1989 to 1993, almost 20 years before Depp 
and Hearn's marriage. But that didn't stop the star from speaking out back in 2016 when these allegations were just coming to light. In a 2016 interview with Time, she called the idea that Depp would hurt Heard quote, unimaginable. She said, quote, I can only speak from my own experience, which was wildly different than what is being said. She went on to say, quote, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I'm not calling anyone a liar. I'm just saying it's difficult and upsetting for me to wrap my head around it. Look, it was a long time ago, but we were together for four years and it was a big relationship for me. Imagine if someone you dated when you were, I was 17 when I met him, was accused of that. It's just shocking. I've never seen him be violent towards a person before. This may have been the first time she spoke about the allegations, but it wasn't the last. Ryder also released a witness statement to the court in 2020, which would detail and confirm that she never experienced any sort of violence or harm in her relationship with Depp. It doesn't appear as if she will be called to testify in this ongoing trial, but it is very clear that her experience and what Amber claims her experience with Depp was are very, very different. For our last celebrity today, we have Heard's co-star in the Aquaman franchise, Jason and Momoa. The pair played love interests in the first film and are set to reprise their roles in the upcoming sequel, which is scheduled to be released next year. Because of this working relationship, fans were surprised to notice that Momoa dropped a follow on Depp's Instagram, but this was only after the trial was well underway. It isn't known the exact date or time of when he hit that follow button, but Eagle Eye fans pointed out that prior to the trial, the Aquaman star was not following Depp. This follow didn't come with an unfollow of Amber, however, so people believe that this perhaps may have been to show neutrality in the situation, but people just can't get past the timing of it all. Maybe it was a move curated by his PR team, or maybe it really reflects his true thoughts and feelings on the matter. At the end of the day, there is a huge petition online that has been circulating to have Heard entirely removed from the slated sequel, and if this does end up happening, who knows what Momoa's follows and unfollows will look like. Starting off at our number 10th spot, we have James Franco. Actor James Franco and Amber Heard seemingly had an affair while Heard was still with Johnny. Footage was released showing Franco going up in an elevator with Heard to the penthouse that Johnny owned the day after Depp allegedly assaulted Amber. The footage shows Amber getting cozy with James in the elevator. Although James hasn't spoken out about the incident, probably due to being focused on his own legal battles, but the public has decided that he must be on Amber Heard's side. But honestly, silence is just silence, so personally I wonder if he actually is. In any case, they're definitely not that tight, otherwise one would assume that he would have said something. But who knows, maybe not. People are weird and not always very loyal. Facts of life. Next up in our number 9th spot is Ellen Barkin. Known for co-starring with Johnny in the popular movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Ellen dated Johnny for a brief period after this movie in 1998. Ellen has reported that while dating Johnny, she witnessed Johnny being verbally and witnessed him throw a wine bottle at the wall once. She has testified though that she has never seen him be physically but that he had bouts of violence. Interesting. So this testimony has led her to possibly testify on behalf of Amber in the upcoming weeks. Johnny has previously commented on the remarks that Ellen has made against him and said that Barkin just holds a grudge against him. He has been quoted as saying that a element began with Miss Barkin, which lasted for months on and off, really because she was making the film with me at the time, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. She wanted a proper relationship with me and I did not want that. I didn't feel the same about her as she did about me and I suppose from that moment on she became very angry and since then I haven't spoken to Miss Barkin. Interesting. Well I guess we'll be able to decide for ourselves when she testifies in the upcoming weeks. Next up in our number 8 spot we have Amanda de Cadenet. Known for her being a very famous British talk show host, Amanda is also known for being a meat as well as a friend of Amber Heard. There is debate as to whether she seemingly stands for Amber. Even though she's been silent on the topic, one could argue that that is more due to wanting to stay out of the fire. Nobody wants to be burned, let's be real. But the Daily Mail UK have actually reported that Amanda has now changed sides. They said that Amanda had listened to the infamous tapes where Amber admits to hitting Johnny, as well as telling him that no one would believe him if he told people that he was a victim 
victim. And since listening to these tapes, Amanda has changed sides. They reported that Amanda has felt used and misled by Amber, but Amanda has not confirmed this herself. So who knows where she stands officially. Coming up in our number seven spot today is British TV personality Sharon Osbourne. Now, Sharon hasn't necessarily picked Amber's side, but some say she definitely thinks that in this case, both were abused. Sharon Osbourne has been quoted as saying that they are as bad as each other and that it takes two to tango. It's a horrible British accent. <laughs> I know that they were both drinking and it was a volatile relationship. Not bad, not bad. As much as I am all for, oh, that's not Anne, that's not her anymore, that's me. <laughs> as much as I am all for personal responsibility, that comment somehow falls a little flat when it comes to commenting on a trial about a career being completely ruined and of course the potential of false allegations being at play. Absolutely, I hope they both learn their lesson, but in this case, most of the evidence seemingly points to one being the perpetrator, but hey, maybe that's just me. Would love to know your thoughts though in the comment section below. In our number six spot today, we have tech icon Elon Musk. Elon dated Amber in 2016 to 2017, and there's rumors that there was some overlap while Amber was dating Johnny, as there is footage of Elon getting out of that famous elevator on the penthouse floor where Johnny Depp owned all of the apartments. He was said to testify on Amber's behalf, but has seemingly now backed out. Hmm. This is another questionable Amber stand as Elon hasn't actually commented on being on Amber's side. In fact, pictures that show Elon with major face bruising while dating Amber have been circulating and some are very suspicious of this. It's interesting that Elon, who's notorious for being quite the free speech activist, hasn't spoken out and debunked this theory. Does that mean that perhaps it's true? And if he really didn't think that she was capable of the allegations against her, wouldn't he say she was a nice, sweet gal and not capable of these accounts? Similar to how so many are saying about Johnny? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. In our number five spot today, we have Eve Barlow. Eve Barlow is known as a pop culture journalist and more recently known as being a very close friend of Amber Heard. She has taken Amber's side publicly on many occasions, including most recently, when she is quoted as saying, it's easy for women with low self-esteem to hate A.H. Amber Heard, or justify their prejudice towards archetypal feminine strength slash beauty by denying their envy of it. They perceive an afforded power that's truly a myth and excuse their own inefficiency at being resilient against misogyny. Yeah, Eve, I'm not sure how much prejudice is at play here with Amber, you know, admitting to physically hitting Jay on a number of occasions, but sure, we should all be open to possible prejudice at play always. We all have our own biases and they can be influenced. Next up at our number fourth spot, we have Io Tillett Wright author, photographer, and he is known as being one of Amber's friends. Towards the beginning of these trials, it was very clear that he was on Amber's side. Some say he still is, but I have my suspicions. Why hasn't he been quoted as saying anything about the trial recently? There's speculation that he will testify on her behalf, so we'll have to see when he does or if he does. But he has gone on record previously claiming that he overheard a conversation between Heard and Depp while on the phone with Amber. He's quoted as saying that he allegedly heard Depp attack her and tell her to get out of the house. Wow. He told the court the phone then sounded like it dropped to the ground. Hearing the actress say something like, you just threw the phone at my head. He then said the next thing he heard was Depp saying, oh, you think I hit you? You think I hit you? What if I peel your hair back? Well, if he did indeed hear this, then we have no reason to think he wouldn't still be defending Amber, right? But I guess time will only tell. In our number three spot today, we have Christy Sexton. Known for being a very famous acting coach, Christy Sexton has previously gone on record supporting Amber. She testified on Heard's behalf in the 2020 trial between Depp and the UK Sun. 
She has gone on record stating that Depp was previously controlling with Heard's career, and that Depp was also very concerned about her being around James Franco. After seeing the elevator footage, uh, arguably he might have been justified. Again, it is unclear as to whether she will testify in the Virginia trial, nor if she still stands by Amber. In our number two spot, we have actress Jennifer Grey, most famously known for the box office masterpiece Dirty Dancing. There is some speculation that Jennifer is more swayed towards Amber's side as she dated Depp briefly in the 80s and has reportedly said that she remembers Depp acting in a crazy jealous and paranoid manner during their relationship when he wanted to know what she'd been up to while he was away. She has said that at the time she attributed his ill temper and unhappiness to him feeling miserable and powerless to get off 21 Jump Street. She has also said that Johnny was sweet loving and romantic to her, and she has never gone on record experiencing any physical violence from him. She has recently commented on the trial being quoted as saying, all I can say about that trial is that it breaks my heart for everybody involved. I just think it's sad and I wish it was revolved and I just wish everybody well. In our number one spot today, we have the very famous director, James Gunn. Gunn is known for directing the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, Suicide Squad and Aquaman. When asked if he would be firing Amber from the Aquaman franchise due to the allegations against her, he has been quoted as saying, I don't think we're ever going to react to, honestly, pure fan pressure. You gotta do what's best for the movie. We felt that if it's James Wan and Jason Momoa, it should be Amber Heard. That's really what it was. Because of this reaction, some wonder if he supports Amber. But what you may not know is that James Gunn has gone through his own version of cancellation due to offensive tweets that led to his firing of Guardians of the Galaxy. So perhaps not firing Amber is an act of compassion and understanding how it feels to be let go for what he may believe to be seemingly unjust reasons. I agree with this to some extent. It's very sticky water taking someone's livelihood away from them and perhaps it's not the most appropriate solution to help someone learn a lesson.